No, no, I, I can't. I, I... Shire Society dot com. Are you involved with the Mental Health Commission? Yes. I've got a question for you. Where is it? <laughs> uh, it's really weird. Oh, it's over there. Uh, to, to what extent? To wait a minute. Who are you? It's, it's you? Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. No, no. I, I can't. I, I... All right. Okay. You gotta ask permission, right? No, I don't. Here's some of the reasons why I can say nope, I don't. That's because people are informed that they're being reported. At least they have a chance to know. The children, she was really out for the best. And I guess I wonder how you feel about what's going on now. We didn't talk about a wait list. And I was well, uh, Adolescence, it's just, that's going to be a... Dr. McLeod, uh, with yes. regard to this tour that's coming up, can I and my camera come along? Yes, of course. Really? I could actually tour the hospital? You, could, the camera. you could tour the hospital, uh, but with the camera we would have to select where you would where you would uh, that's be able to take the job. What I would yeah. do if I were you, probably, yes. so I can't yes. complain too much there. Well, I appreciate the transparency. I actually have to be somewhere, so I can't go. But I do have a question about what, what you're saying about oppositional defiant disorder in there. Yes. Uh, my perception of oppositional defiant or, or disorder has always been it's one of those things that they just use to kind of put dissidents in jail or something like that. Are, are, are you discriminating in your in your diagnosis of this? No, it, it's a uh, oftentimes these diagnoses that I listed uh, there's multiple diagnosis that goes with each case. So oppositional defiant disorder might be in addition to some other uh, behavioral issues that the child is ha having. Uh, typically oppositional defiant disorder is uh, exclusive for a younger age group. Once an adult, uh, once someone turns into an adult, those, those diagnoses aren't uh, necessarily uh, like, likely, but it's part of what we look at and try to uh, define per case uh, so that we can uh, address any of the issues the children have. You seem to be pretty concerned about the idea of some parents in society using marijuana in front of their children. A lot of people would just kind of laugh at that and say it's really not it's really not that dangerous and certainly the state shouldn't be getting involved. Why, why are you advocating that? Well I just use that as an example. Um, I think it's uh, it's uh, basically anything that uh, would uh, be a substance that would um, likely be something a child could consume. So we've learned along the way that there are certain substances, uh, certain things that adults can successfully um, use without um, impeding their their life. Uh, but uh, there are a number of things that uh, children, substances children shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be encouraged to use. Now, I'm not stating that the there's parents out there that are forcing any of that on their on their children, but I think uh, we should always look at what's appropriate age specific. All right, doctor, I appreciate the transparency. Welcome. Don't get that from all government officials. <laughs> The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.